welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look, which is just a simple matte eye look which enhances your eyes by making them look longer. And a bright lip. to give you two of the lip options towards the end of the video before I put my lipstick on. So if a bright orange lip isn't what you're looking for, then I do suggest two other colours that you could wear with this look. If you want to know how to get this look, then please keep on watching. First, you want to prime your eye, and as always, I've used my Urban Decay Original Primer Potion for this. I've already done that, and I've set it with some powder, just so that my eyeshadow doesn't stick to the formula. The palette that I'm going to be working from today for my eyes is going to be the Illamasqua, oops, the Illamasqua Multifacet Palette, and this one is in Aura, so it's perfect for people if you've got a pale complexion. And first, I'm going to be taking these two colours here and putting them all over the lid and all the way up to the brow bone. And you get to see a side of my face that you never normally get to see. Just did the wrong eye first. Now I'm going to start building up the darker colours and first I'm going to be taking this ready brown here which is called Faint and I'm going to be taking that on an angled brush and just start to build it up on the outer edge of my eye. Now I'm going to take that same colour just on this Delium 787 brush and start blending out the outer edge. Now I'm going to be using a different angle brush and this is the one that comes with the palette and I'm going to take the eyebrow cake in Thunder but you can take a dark brown eyeshadow if you like. I'm going to focus this especially towards the outer edge of my eye. Then I'm going to use this, the other angle brush, just to blend that out with a bit of that faint colour. And finally, the blended brush. Going even darker, I'm going to take this colour here, which is the sparkly black. I don't know if you can see if that sparkles. And this is called Machine on that same little angle brush. And just blend that out again. Now I'm going to take a black pencil, and this is the Sophie Pencil by La Masca and I'm going to run that as close to the lash line as possible and then blend that out with the black eyeshadow again. Now I'm going to take the Illamasqua Smolder brush and it's just a really small pencil brush basically and I'm going to just keep blending that. Now I'm happy with how that looks, I'm going to repeat the same steps on the lower lash line. So first starting off with the two light colours, then going in with the ready brown, and finally the black and the coal liner as well. Now I'm happy with how the eye looks, just quickly before I do anything else I'm going to put some Vaseline on my lips just because I'm going to be applying a coloured lipstick and I don't want it to sink into anything on my lips if they're dry so I'll just quickly do that. Now 
Now I'm going to tidy up around the eyes just before I put any mascara on and I'm going to be using my collection Last Imperfection Concealer and I am shade number one. And then I'm going to be setting that with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder which I believe is also shade number one, yes. Before I powder the rest of my face, I'm going to be using a cream contour and you can find it in the palette as well, this shade here, which is called Hollow. Next, to powder my face, I'm going to be using my Rimmel Day matte powder and this is number one transparent to continue with that contour I'm going to be using heroin by Masca, which is just the same color but in powder form To warm up my face, I'm going to be using my Body Shop Honey Bronzer, and this is in shade number one. Moving on to blush, and this is a combination that I've been absolutely loving at the minute. I first apply Ilmasca Naked Rose and then on top I use the Hourglass Diffused Heat which looks like this. This is the Ambient Lighting Blusher and because it's got that lighting powder going through it it gives a bit of a highlight and a bit of a glow as well as giving a little bit of colour to the face. And then the ambient lighting blusher, I focus more on the apples of my cheeks because that's where I want that little bit of glow. Just a quick finishing touch on the eyes just to open up my eyes a little bit. I'm going to be using this pigment by Ella Masca, which is called For Raw. I'm going to take that on that itty bitty little brush that comes with the palette. This is my final step before mascara, so I'll do this and then I'll be back with mascara on. I'm going to use the Skindinavia Makeup Setting Spray. This is the oil control. Actually, I was going to say this is the original, but it's not. Um, I've never tried this before, so I will do a first impressions if anyone wants me to review it. For this look, you could wear any kind of lip really because the eyes are quite subtle. They just elongate your eyes and there's no crazy colours going on there because it's pretty much all matte. So you could wear a nude lip which would be pretty good for work and I would recommend if you're a similar complexion to me and you know you just want something that looks like your lips but a little bit better then I would recommend Rose Pout by Ella Masca and this is nice and moisturising but also stays on the lips for a very long time. Next if you want to vamp it up and go pretty bold then this is the one for you and this is Dark Room by Melt and I wore this lip combination, lip and eye combination to work the other day and I've got to say this has got the same staying power as all the other ones, it's amazing. So yeah, if you want to go for something very seasonal then Melt Dark Room. However, I'm going to go for something that's probably not seasonal at all but I like the combination with these like stripes and this eye look um, and it's one of my favourite colours to wear on my lips as well. And that is Stoked by Illamasco, which is another glamour finish. And it's just a really nice orangey red. And to provide a good base for it, so that way it doesn't come off during the day, I'm going to be using one of their matte lipsticks instead of a lip pencil. And this one is Flare, and that's just orange.
on. Obviously you could leave it like that if you wanted a matte lip look, but I'm going to go ahead and put soaked on top. So guys, here's the finished look. I hope you like it. So this look was obviously created, the eyeshadow was created using this palette. This look is definitely very versatile. You could put this on for work and then take the palette with you and go out straight after work. So it's perfect for any Christmas parties that you might be going to. If you want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram, they're all Fees Makeup Tips. You can now also find me on Beautylish because I think it's such a cool idea. It's a bit like Facebook, but just for makeup, and yeah, it's great. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments, then leave them down below, and if you want to see more of me, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next.